Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eladi Cucumber, and I just woke up from a four or five hour nap and I decided, hey, let's make a video. <laughs> and that's why I look all tired, but you're not going to see my face for the majority of the video. Yeah, but I just wanted to quick, make a quick disclaimer if you cared about that. Anyway, what we're doing, oh, things just got a lot darker in here. What we're doing is we're going to be doing a tier list of all the bosses in Cuphead. Why? I don't know, I'm bored, and honestly, I've been thinking about doing tier lists more often. So, yeah, that's the one more thing I wanted to point out was, it is 10, almost 11, so yeah, it's late, so if I'm talking a little quietly, that's gonna be why. But I don't think I will. That's, that's it, I don't think I will. I just realized that because of the way I'm doing this, I'm gonna have to put it in a spreadsheet. Because the way that I'm doing this is I'm ranking them based on four different factors. Which is their design, like their concept, the, how, I, how good the level is, and the music. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a spreadsheet. So, okay. I'll see you guys after probably like an hour. <laughs> okay guys, I just realized something. So after all this time, look what time it is right now. If it focuses, it is 110, and I just realized if I'm going after I finish the spreadsheet, if I even do the spreadsheet, like I'll have to rank it from worst to best. And I didn't even think about that, which means I just wasted all this time doing a spreadsheet for nothing. Yeah, so let's get ranking then. No, I don't want that. How do you get rid of that? Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so the tiers are just like the game S, A, B, C, and D. So yeah, let's get started. Why the frick are these same ads? Okay, you know, just ignore them. Um, we're gonna start with the root pack. And I don't know why they have the separate phases here. I don't know why they put three of the separate phases, but they're, they're all gonna be in the same tier. So, Rupak is an okay boss fight, I think. The boss is okay, the song is okay. And honestly, I just say B, okay? Next up is Goopy. And now, Goopy's an okay boss fight. But, like, like he's alright, I guess. I mean, he's just a blue guy, in all seriousness. The song is really good, but the, the boss is simple. The design is simple. Everything about this boss is pretty simple, except for the the song. Except we got Hildeberg, the threatening Zeppelin. And honestly, okay, I didn't mean to place her there. I think I'm gonna place her, I feel like we need more tiers, because these tiers aren't enough. I'm gonna place her in A, because she's a pretty cool boss fight. I like the concept of this one, I like the boss itself, it's pretty fun. Okay, I updated the tiers. S is perfect, A is pretty good, B is nice, C is alright, D is not great, and F is- Now, we're gonna place Ruby and Croak on the board, once I find what they are. I should really do this before I start the freaking camera. There they are. Ruby and Croaks, I mean, they're nice. I mean, they're not- I mean, they're cool, I guess. Like, they're- I don't- I don't know. I guess- I guess nice is the only way I can explain And last but certainly- Okay, I really messed that up. Certainly not least is Cagney Carnation. And I, he's going in the nice tier as well. Because he's- you know what? I think Hildeberg's going in the nice tier as well. Yes, th this- this seems- this seems right. I I'll switch these out. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this feels really fair. Hildeberg and nice, uh, Ruby and Croak's pretty good. Wait, I want to switch pretty good. Okay, I know we just did this, but pretty great is the new tier. Yeah, so aisle one completed. Wait, I just realized what the shape looks like. Okay, enough. enough. Next up on the board, we got Baroness Von Bon Bon. And honestly, I think she's really cool. I love the boss fight. The music's pretty good. And the concept's really nice. So yeah, I really like... Uh, Okay, I just realized that you can buy storage, so yeah, apparently that's only a thing now. 
even though I really could have used this, so now making videos is going to be a lot easier. But anyway, Jimmy the Great. I'd say he is pretty great. His boss fight's really, really fun. I'd say one of the most fun boss fights. His character is really cool. The song is fits him pretty well, honestly. And honestly, he's just a cool boss. So apparently buying the storage didn't apply to like after. So I bought the storage and immediately when I tried to record the next like segment, it said, oh, you're out of storage, which is just fantastic. But anyway, Beppy the Clown is next. And honestly, I'd say that he's our first S tier. Okay. He's a pretty cool boss. I love the soundtrack. My favorite soundtrack in the game, actually. Um, the boss fight's really fun, he, and he's just such, such a cool guy, you know. Next up is Wally Warbles, and I know I just did an S tier. Can you get out of here? I know I just did an S tier, but Wally Warbles is another S tier. I don't know what that was. Wally Wobbles is another S tier. He's my favorite boss in the game, actually. I feel like he deserves to be at the top of S tier, actually. If he goes to the top of S tier. He's such a cool boss. I don't know why he's my favorite, but he just is. Okay. They have all the, like, the mini faces. Do they have his little child? It's going to be the majority of the video, by the way. <laughs> Looking for his child. I don't think his child is in here, which really doesn't make sense whatsoever, but okay. Except is Mr. Grim Matchstick. And I love him as a boss, but the boss fight's so unbearable. I'll put him in A tier, pretty great. I love him, he's such a cool boss. Like and his design's really cool, but the boss fight is just unbearable. And the song's actually not that great. So yeah. Next up is Rumor Honeybottoms. Yeah, I mean, the boss fight is notorious for being really bad. They're just like really badly designed. The boss fight song is alright, and she herself is not that cool. So yeah, D not great is where she's gonna stay. Next up is Mr. Briny Beard the Pirate. And honestly, he's just flat out okay. He's a he's a pretty okay boss. Him as a character in the Cuphead show was really awesome, which really brings it up for me because I like him as a character. And his boss fight's pretty fun, the song's alright, so yeah, just pretty alright all around. Okay, I may be a fan of rats, but Werner Worman's going in C tier. The boss fight's not that, or I mean, it's not really anything special. It's just kind of like jumping a lot. It's like basically the majority dumping and then going down and then attack. Well, that's what the game is. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a lot of this boss fight is just really simple for Isle 3. And while the design is kind of cool and like the concept of him getting eaten is really like awesome, he's just not that interesting of a boss. <laughs> next up is Dr. Call. Why can't I keep my phone steady? Okay, but next up is Dr. Call. Which is honestly one of my favorite, or I'd say my favorite boss fight in the game. Because it's the hardest boss fight in the game. Well, not the hardest. It's not harder than Salt Beggar. But it's going in S tier either way. Not not this guy. This guy can die, but the, the robot goes in S tier. But th since I can't split them up, they will be staying together. But the boss fight is really difficult, which is really fun because it's like unique it's the most unique boss fight the music is great the music is awesome in this boss fight like the concept is pretty cool as well next up is sally stage play and honestly she's literally just a woman so she's gonna go and see all right because i don't know she's kind of cool she's cool the her boss fight song though is really good i'm gonna break this up a little the boss fight itself is all right i mean the concept pretty cool, but it's alright, I guess. I don't know. Next up is Calamaria, and honestly, she's nice. I really like, okay, now nah, I know this is going to sound weird because Calamaria is like, you know, you, you know, I think Calamaria's design is really cool, like really well designed. The octopus, like the shells, like, I don't know. 
it, like, I don't know. It's just really cool to design. Boss fight's not, like, too good, but the music and everything else is pretty good. And the concept is pretty nice. She turns into, like, a... Like, she starts the mermaid, turns into a siren, which is really cool. And, yeah. Next up, we got the Phantom Express. I don't know why there was so much expression on that. But all the little buddies go in A tier for being pretty cool guys. The concept of a ghost train is really sick, in my opinion. And honestly, these, the Phantom Express is just a fun boss fight. Yeah, and the music's really good too, so yeah. Next up, next up, we got King Dice. And King Dice is obviously going in S tier. Like, where did you expect him to go? He's King Dice. And, quick disclaimer, we're not going to include any of the little mini boss guys because I don't really care about them. So yeah, I realized I didn't give an explanation to King Dice, but I don't really think I need to. He's just, he's so clever and so dapper. So yeah, now the devil. And, I don't know, he, he's cool. Like, he's the final boss and he's really menacing. Like, for a final boss, he's perfect because he's really menacing and still goofy. So yeah. A tier, and the the song is pretty good. That's like pretty end or pretty climactic, and honestly, just a really well. Bop. Next up, next up, we got the Moonshine Mob, and I, they're going in A or S tier. Like I'm just gonna put them in S tier myself, but it's gonna take a while. So yeah, yeah, they're in S tier, and they're in S tier because the song, out of all the like, out of the base game and the DLC, it's the best soundtrack in the game. Their boss fight's really fun. I love the concept of it, and it's just awesome. Next up, we got Esther Winchester, and honestly, she's pretty cool boss fight, so I'm gonna put in pretty great. She's, the concept of this one's really crazy. She starts as a cow, turns into hot dogs, and then turns into packaged sausages. The song is pretty, like, nice. And honestly, the design is really cool. So yeah, A tier is where she's gonna start for that really cringy accent. Next up, we got Gloomstone the Giant. And he used to be one of my favorites. He used to be my favorite from the DLC. He's such a cool guy, so he's going in A tier. Uh, uh, Gloomstone, the song's pretty okay. The song's pretty good. The concept of the giant and like he eats you and you have to fight his Yubla is pretty cool of a boss fight, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, pretty great is... And next up, we got the Howling Aces. And honestly, I'd say they go in A tier as well. <laughs> and I know, I know, I know how this makes me look. The DLC bosses are cooler. But honestly, like, they're such a cool concept. They're like in a plane, but you're not actually doing a plane battle. The designs for all three of them are really great, honestly. Like, they're all really, like, well designed. And honestly, I don't know. They're just really cool. And next up, we got Mortimer Freeze. And honestly, I feel like out of all the bosses, he's probably the weakest. In terms of, like, coolness. So yeah, he's gonna go here. Because like, the boss fights, the concept is really well done. Everything else is just kind of okay. So yeah, that's, er, the music's really good, but like everything else is just kind of okay. So that's really good. Okay, before we do Salt Baker, we have to get the Devil and Angel. So yeah, these guys, love the concept of the hidden boss being a devil and an angel. And it's going in A tier. Because the boss fight, while it's infuriating, it's okay. The music, well, it's it's just okay. The design, it's like what you'd expect it to be for a devil and angel. And, I don't know. Everything about this boss is just okay. But also, it's done in a really cool way. Which is kind of difficult. And last but not least, we got Salt Baker. What do you think is going to go? Actually, I think we need a new tier for Salt Baker specifically. Salt Baker goes in the outstanding tier. Oh, oops. Now, Salt Baker, you might be wondering, Eli, why, why do you like Salt Baker so much? Well, I'll tell you why. The boss fight is awesome. So difficult, but such a cool boss fight. 
The design of each phase is incredible. The music is really climactic, even more climactic than, than the devil. And the concept is pretty good. So yeah, it's just the most perfect boss of them all. But yeah, uncompared perfection. Even more better than perfect. I was originally gonna just name it perfect er. So I wanted to actually put some thought into it, so outstanding is the term that So guys, what's up? Why did I say that? <laughs> I meant to say, so guys, that was the end of this video. Hey guys, that was the end of this video. So yeah, tell me if you like this style of video, the tier list. Because honestly, I feel like tier list kind of videos are really fun to do. And I would love to do more tier lists if you guys like it, so yeah. And thank you guys for watching, and uh, goodbye to you. <laughs> See you later, guys.